So this chapter is on principle of virtual work. Essentially, it's the more general case of principle of virtual displacement. Principle of virtual work deals with systems that have springs in them. Whereas because principle of virtual displacement are just systems with no springs, it's actually a special case of this. So let's look at the formula for virtual work. Now, previously this was a zero. Now we have a term that is uh, delta u here. This is an indication for the sum of uh, spring work. Okay, spring work. So the spring work is given by f delta e. f is actually k e, right? Is the spring force of the spring. Essentially, the recipe for PVD is the same for PVW here. So I'm not going to go through another round of explaining the theory behind it. You can just go check the previous videos. Yeah, so I'm going to straight away start because essentially the ideas are the same. So here, let's read the question. The spring is being stretched. So this is an important clue. And in its neutral state, ABC was horizontal. So the original length of the spring is actually L over 2, right? You see, when this rod is horizontal, this slider moves this way. So the spring will collapse down to L over 2. So this is the original length of the spring. Let's call the original length L0. Okay, so this is L0, or the original length. <coughs> and then in this diagram, right, because we know that the original length is L, L0 when it's horizontal, as you pull this rod downwards, the spring is getting stretched. So in this stretch position, this length is L prime. L prime is the new length. Now, we want to find P to keep this in equilibrium. So DW is the sum of work done. The work done is given by P delta H. They're in the same direction, so it's positive. Now, what is the sum of spring work? So the spring work here will be F delta E. For all intents and purposes, this is always positive. Yeah, it's always positive. Honestly, I do not know why. So you better consult your lecturer as to why this is always positive. But as far as you are concerned, yes, you can take my word for it that this term is always positive. Whether it's compressed, whether it's stretched, it's always, the spring work is always positive. So uh, now we have to relate this to a common variable. We have to relate these and these to our common variable. Now, the common variable to take here will be theta. Now, why is that the case? Because as you see, when theta changes, h clearly changes. And also, if you think about it, when h changes, this the, the extension of the spring also changes. So bear in mind that E refers to the extension. So as theta changes, the extension also changes, correct? So we know that both delta H and delta E are related somehow to delta theta. So we know that delta theta is a common variable. So based on the geometry, we had to find that out. First, let's take a look at uh, this triangle. When we take a look at this triangle, we know that this is H. We know that this bar is L. So this is the opposite. So and we when we take the perspective of theta, this H is opposite. This L is the hypotenuse. So we can use sine theta opposite over hypotenuse. Meaning to say H is this. We use the small approximate change formula. So we know that this is this. Then we substitute this into here. Then differentiation of sine is just cosine. OK, so this is uh, delta h. <coughs> We're going to substitute this into here later. OK, so now let's find the extension. Okay, here is the clue. 
the spring is being stretched, right? So to find the extension of the spring, which is the change in length of the spring, it will be, since it's stretched, the new length is longer than the original length. So to find the extension, you take L prime, which is the new length, minus away L naught, which is the original length, to get the extension. Okay, so we know that E L prime, the stretch, the stretch new length minus the original length. So L prime is given by now we need to find L prime. So remember L prime is over here. This is L prime. If you focus on this triangle, this triangle triangle, you can use cosine to tell that this is adjacent and here is hypotenuse. So if you think about it carefully, you make L prime the subject, you should get this. Okay? So this is L prime. And then the original length is L over 2, right? The ABC was horizontal in its neutral position. So like this, meaning to say that the original length is L over 2. So L over 2 is this. <laughs> so if you want to find this, use the approximate change. Okay, so I put this into here. So, differentiation of a constant is just nothing. I can take these constants out. And then, Cosine theta at the bottom, I'm going to put it to the top like this. Okay. Now, differentiating this, we get power bring down, power minus one. Differentiation of the inside, differentiation of cosine, it will be negative sine. And delta theta. So, this theta, this negative can cancel with this. And if you neaten this up, you get this, okay? This is our delta E. So now we can substitute this into a PVD formula. So recall earlier that PVD was this. Then we know that this work done is equal to the spring work. Then now we already found delta H, which was this here. Okay, so this is L cosine theta d theta. L cosine theta d theta is equal to F is actually KE. And then delta E is what we got here. So this is L sine theta 2 cos square theta d theta. Okay, both sides have d theta, so we can drop this. Then L. We can cancel. Okay, move this cosine to the other side. We shall get. Oh, sorry, this becomes Q. Because this multiplied by this becomes cubed. Okay, now we have to replace this with the terms we are given. So remember, earlier we are given, earlier we found this, right? So let's beautify this a bit. So how do you beautify this? So both of them have L over 2, right? So let's factorize that out. Then leave behind this. And we know that 1 over cos is just secant. So now that we know that this is E, we'll substitute it back. So we're going down. This is L over 2 secant theta minus one times okay we know that one over cos is 
secant. So one over cos cube will be secant cube. Here is one over cos cube. So we know that this is secant cube. Okay. We simplify this further. You should get the answer, right? So K L two times two is four. Then the secant cube here, move it to the front. Sine theta. Then this put it at the back. And there you go. This is our answer. Okay, so this is P. If you found this video helpful, please support me on coffee. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you.